Hey, what's up guys? Phoenix here, and welcome to another Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links video. This time there's going to be some highlighted games from my stream, where I did a King of Games rush with Dragoonides to be, at least as far as I'm aware, the very first person to achieve the King of Games ranking with this deck, because it came out, and I immediately started streaming with it after I acquired the cards, uh, and everything was all fine and good. This is the list that I played, and this is the list that it's going to be playing throughout the video. I have since, like, optimized it and changed it around a bit, uh, took it down to 20 cards, have done some changes like playing Hatronades instead of double Cyclones, stuff like that. But this is a very interesting deck for Duel Links. I really like it, obviously. It's basically my heritage on this channel as well from the TCG side. And so as soon as these cards were announced, I knew that I was going to be trying to play this deck and get a King of Games finishing with it. But so in the game, we have Ducks, we have Phalanx, which special summons itself if you equip it to Ducks. Ducks can equip Phalanx from Graveyard. On the normal summon of ducks ducks can also get big it can be a 1900 beater with whatever it equips by gaining 200 it can also be big and immune to traps due to divine lance we have cards of concepts in the game we have missile in the game which is actually not that good we have Ackley's, which synergizes with militum we don't have legionnaire we don't have uh, Synodus, we don't have Coos, we don't have any of those other cards uh, but we do have cards of consonants and we do have divine lance and that's just sort of enough but so uh, this was a very interesting deck to play. It was very fun. Uh, Lance is a very lopsided card in the uh, on the ladder currently in Duel Links because people either won't read it or they just don't have cards they can use against it because it does make your monster immune to traps. And so you will just regularly do things like summon a Vajrayana, equip a Lance to it, and then your Vajrayana will send an Ackley's that's equipped to it to double its attack for the turn. So it'll be 25 because Lance will be boosting it by 6 because it's a level 6 monster. So it'll be 25. And then if you send the Ackley's, which you could have equipped with the Vajrayana summon or equipped from your deck off of Lance, you can send that Va uh, that Ackley's to the graveyard to make Vajrayana a 5,000 attack monster that's immune to traps. The Ackley's will then trigger because it was sent as an equip card, pop a card on the field, which is pretty powerful. And then you have a Vajrayana that's immune to traps that can swing, usually directly, for a lot of damage. And it can even get higher than there if you play like Beatdown or Peak Performance or uh, Quick as the Wind as your skills to play with this deck. To either put Mountain or the Rising Air Current Field spell out, or just to play Beatdown and boost this because it is a level 6 monster. Those boosts will all stack on top of... Vajrayana doubling its attack, and they'll also get doubled from Vajrayana's effect because Vajrayana doubles its current attack, not what its original attack was. So if it's being boosted by peak performance or beatdown or rising air current, that stat boost also gets doubled and added to Vajrayana's new attack boost, or new attack stat. And Duel Links only has 4,000 life, so a 5,000 attack Vajrayana with Lance by itself without any other factors is already just pretty good. Um, Gaydurg is kind of interesting, and Gay Bulg is kind of interesting. Um, this is sort of your usual turn one play uh, against like a lot of random decks because they can't beat over it because it can banish Ducks from Grave to be 35 for the until the end of the turn or Militum to be 37. Uh, and then we obviously have the old school MVP Stardust Dragon, which you do summon a fair bit of the time uh, if you have things like traps to back it up. If you have no traps to back it, uh, back up your plays, you usually open with like Gay Bulg, especially if you can put a Lance on it. But if you do have traps like Treacherous or Canadia, and you have some sort of follow-up play like a Ducks or a Militum in your hand or whatever, you can easily just go for a turn one Stardust, uh, and then have, or like a turn one Gator to add Ducks to your hand, and then you're good. But if you don't have any, you know, disruption cards or anything, you usually just go for Gay Bulg. Uh, and that's sort of that. But anyway, here's some gameplay clips from that stream where I got King of Games with this deck. And if you're interested, link is in the description to my Twitch page where you can go and follow that and be notified next time I go live. But see you guys around. Enjoy the gameplay. In theory, Black Wings are very good for Duel Links because the reason Black Wings aren't good in the TCG, even after getting like all their support cards back off the Forbidden Limited list uh, in 2013, getting Whirlwind back to three, all that, all that other bullshit, was that the game went away from the battle phase being super important. It went into the main phase is where we're using all of our resources to start outing cards on the field. And we're only entering the battle phase as a formality to attack for game. We're not attacking over monsters anymore. And Black Wings, even with a lot of their new support that they got after all the cards came out, it's still a very battle-centric focused deck uh, where it, a lot of its good value trades come from, uh, that hand is pretty good, we will not restart. Um, a lot of its value trades come from 
Soroko boosting something, Shura killing something in battle, Gale halving something, Kalut letting you attack over something with Shura, um, like stuff like that. And we just unfortunately don't have any of those cards in Duel Links. We don't have any of the cool battle, uh, multiple, we don't have any of the cool, like, battle manipulation cards. Um, like, we either needed Gale, Kalut, or Soroko. We just needed one of the three, and we got none of the three. Um, so we can't really start looking at Black Wings as anything viable until we get one of those cards. Do I sound like I know what I'm talking about? I try to sound intelligent. Sometimes I'm full of shit, though. Teehee. Uh, did I get rid of flanks? I did. Game. Get farmed. I, I'm convinced this deck can't lose to Blue Eyes. Dragoonity is just... I've literally just been destroying every Blue Eyes person I play. This is ridiculous. Uh, okay, so. Vajrayana, equip the Lance to it. We're gonna punch him for 5k. Also needs a good level 7 Synchro, yeah. Uh, Armor Master would be pretty decent. Honestly, the deck would probably be still pretty alright if it got, like, uh, Obsidian Hawk Joe. Because that would, like, allow it to keep up board presence and shit. So that'd be kind of okay. That would be kind of alright. Alright, so... Vaj, equip the Ackleys from deck. Thank you to everyone that's following, by the way. Thank you to everyone that showed up from Yummy Stream and likes what you see enough to follow. Thank you. Uh, send this to Grave. Netherlord of the Abyss donated to. I see you're playing Ducks and Phalanx, but I don't know what your other Dragoonies are called. called. I've literally never seen them before. Okay. This is Vajrayana. I'm not going to click on it. Uh, this is Dragoony Divine Lance. This is Dragoony Militum. It sucks. Uh, but it's okay. It's strictly okay. I wish we had had Legionnaire instead. This one is Dragoony Ackles. This one, when it's sent as a uh, equip card, it pops a card on the field. Um, in the TCG, we have Legionnaire, uh, which, uh, for, if for some reason this isn't game, we'll set this to. Um, in the TCG, we have Legionnaire, which is a level 3 that operates like ducks that could equip Ackles, and Legionnaire could send to pop a monster, and that was a really good interaction because you would send the Ackles, pop a monster, and then you would pop a spell or trap or another monster with the Ackles. So, like, that's a really good interaction. Uh, but, yeah, the, the only other cards you need to be worried about are literally Mistleton is the level 6 that I'm only playing one of because sometimes it comes up. Uh, Ackles is the other tuner that's not Phalanx. And Militum is just a level 4 that has no synergy with any card in the deck except for Ackles. It's so stupid. Uh, you can summon Ackles, which will special Militum from your hand, and then the Ackles will equip itself to the Militum, and Militum's effect is once per turn, it turns any of your Dragoonity tuners that's in your back row into Phalanx. It just summons it. So, like, Ackles Militum at least makes a Vajrayana. So, like, that's that's the synergy. Did I sound intelligent? I try to sound intelligent, but sometimes I'm just full of shit. Listen, uh, we're not going to use this skill. This hand is perfectly fine. Listen. Half the battle is not knowing what you're talking about. Half the battle is knowing how to sound like you know what you're talking about. You can make people believe anything you want as long as you sound convincing. As long as you sound confident and you deliver your lines with confidence, and you just say it like you know that it's right, people aren't going to call you on it. They're just not. Look at this. Look at how good my deck is. Look how good this deck is. Look at how good this deck is! Holy shit! Um, okay. Uh, so we, we're gonna kill him with the Lance. We're just gonna kill him. Just die, though. <laughs> For those of you that have no idea who I am, like I said, I've been playing the TCG since it came out. Uh, I am a Yu-Gi-Oh! YouTuber. A Yu-Gi-Tuber, as it were. Um, that's what transitioned me into Duel Links. And I have been playing, I played Dragoonities for three years straight in the TCG. <laughs> I played them from literally the day they were announced. I proxied all the cards, played them until literally they got banned three years later. <laughs> and then I was like, I don't know how to play regular Yu-Gi-Oh anymore. Help. Um, so like this deck came out and this deck, as soon as these cards got spoiled in Duel Links and somebody told me about it, I was like, surely they can't give them ducks. And they had ducks. And I was like, well, <laughs> it's over, boys. Uh, just die, though? Question mark? Just die? Just die, though! Just die, though! Divine Lance is so fucking good! 
What an interaction. I, is there even any banned cards in Duel Links? I can't remember. I think everything's just at one or two because, like, the Duel Links ban list system is so much better than the TCG's ban list system of, like, you can only play two of two semi-limited cards, period. Um, like, Duel Links' ban list system is so much better than TCG. Cause TCG is like, well, you banned that one card? Okay. Or you limited, the, you limited two archetype cards? Uh, okay, well, time to find the replacements as quick as possible, and the deck is still a problem. Good job. More like weekly? Fair. Um, oh, let's help the, Let's help this gent. Let's help him derank, shall we? Ooh, balance. I'm going second with this hand. Hmm, let's see. Uh, I have 18 cards left in my deck. Uh, of the... I will... Uh, against my better judgment, I'm going to keep this hand. Because if I draw a tuner, it's a card's constant target. If I draw Ducks or Militum, it's uh, it's a Lance target. So that's 10 cards in my deck that I could draw out of 18. Um, which is still over half. Why do? Why does everyone just keep activating this? Ah, see? Mm, uh, normal summon this. Would you like to activate a card in response? I did not put the Hatrunades in. Fuck, this would have been Hatrunade. I would have game literally like right now. I'm such a dumbass. I need to stop being such a dumbass. <sighs> this needs to stop. But it's okay though. Because since it is what it is, right? All we're going to do is we're going to equip an Ackles from our deck. A big smile. Ackley's time. Give me the Ackley's. We're gonna we're gonna get rid of a back row and then a thing. We're gonna go ahead and do it now. Fuck you. I don't want to have to think about setting it versus playing it. So we're just gonna do it. Also cut down to twenty cards. Twenty two is giving me a headache. No. Uh uh. No 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 no. This is how we're interacting. This is how we're doing the business. You'll find that this is how that we are doing the business. I no matter which one I target, I lose if it's mass change anyway. So I might as well just do this. I was really trying to hit the mass change first. Ah, cosmic. Really glad I didn't attack into that. Um, against my better judgment, I'm just gonna go ahead and play another one. Even though it's already bigger, um, because. If I'm immune to traps at the start of the next turn and get to equip immediately and don't have to worry about Canadia, then I think we are good. Yeah, got the Kimi ni Naru. I know where to find our vitamins, but I'm scared to ask. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. 22 is booty? Nah, 22 is the theory. That's the theory, mate. I'm, I'm so upset that you don't know the theory. Are you just trying not... To, are you just trying not to partake in the theory? Because I don't know if I can, um, I don't know if I can, uh, allow that one to slide. Because 22 is the theory. <laughs> it's literally the theory. Also, if you want to play this deck with balance, I'm not playing balance right now, obviously, but if you want to play this deck with balance, literally the minimum amount of cards you can play is 22. <laughs> so, like, that's kind of real. Um, cause you play 10 monsters, 6 spells, and 6 traps to trigger balance, but unfortunately it's fucking doo-doo. Let's just casually make Stardust and waste my, waste my opponent's time. Let's help him with his D rank. Let's let him know how fucked he is. Let's let him know. Let's help him. Oh, he did it himself. Perfect. You will gain a rank, please. Please! Oh, you're playing Black Wings. Oh, yes, I have to use it. I'm going first, I have to use it. I hate being forced to use this skill. Yes, yes. We can wall with Treacherous for a bit. Please, we can wall with these for a bit, please. Please, please. 
<laughs> Blaze. He's playing a 22 card deck. Mark of the Dragon Tail. He's playing a 20 card deck. He put he played the he put the blizzards in his deck. This is a Blackwing deck. This is a Blackwing deck. He put the Blackwing Dragon in his extra deck. He has the blizzards. This is either going to be something that I'm not expecting to be as hard as it's going to be, or it's going to be the easiest thing in the fucking world. It's okay though. All we need to do is draw ducks. Literally ducks. Ducks. Ducks, and we have a monster with an Ackley's equipped. We can follow that up with protection with the double cyclone. We got the Canadias. We have so much protection, right? That if we have a ducks, we can just poke with it at 19 for three turns. Because it'll be 19 because it counts itself and it counts the Ackley's. And we have enough protection for that ducks that at any point I can just draw a Divine Lance. But my opponent's like not making a single play. Is my opponent just gonna leave? What do you mean I'm screwed? Let's go Ducks. Yeah, man. Let's go Ducks. Ducks it up. It's time to Ducks it up. We just need... I just need Ducks or even Militum. I'd be okay with Militum. Because Militum is still 17. It doesn't equip the Ackleys, which means we don't have synergy with the Double Cyclone. But the Double Cyclone can get uses elsewhere. Right? The Militum is still a beater. We just need to attack. Attack, 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 attack. Is my opponent just not going to do anything? This is going to be very... Like, if I put this on a video, it's going to be very anticlimactic. If my opponent is playing a Blackwing deck and doesn't play a single card and just timer stalls out. This is not how I wanted to get my cog. Considering the last time I was on my rank up, I misplayed Lethal. Okay. Now you're in Treacherous range. Opponent's battle phase. Cool. Uh, Treacherous Trap Hole is a fair card, I hear. So we'll get rid of both of these. Okay. I cannot draw. That's fine. We're going to set this, and we're going to pass. We've got the Canadias. My opponent has just lost his Blizzard and his Bora. He might just time or stall out. I guess not. And that is a hell of a card to top deck. Hmm, armed wing, only a thousand defense, you say. Very strange. We will Canadia this. And we will chain this, targeting the Canadia that's active, and this. Ducks. Ducks or millet mil Ducks or Militum. Just give it to me. Just fucking give it to me. Hey. We playing Caveman Yu-Gi-Oh now, boys. We doing it. Oh, cool. A Canadia. Man, if only I had my own Canadia in the graveyard that makes your Canadia literally do nothing here. Thank you. Thank you, Duelist. I love you. Kill you! Alright. 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 We've got one Canadia left. He's got a Shura. His Canadia cannot kill my Militum if I Canadia his Shura. Canadia. Get the fuck down. You have your Canadia in grave. You can summon it. The most you can do with it, though, is crash with my Canadia. Because my Militum has 1,200 defense. Are you a potato? Do you remember that my Militum has 1,200 defense? Are you going to attack into the Militum with the Canadia? Okay, good. He checked. Shura has 1,200 defense. That's a Divine Lance, boys. We lit. We win. We're in COG. Unless that hard in his hand is a Sphere Karibo, we are in the King of Games Club. Alright. We've got an Ackley's in the grave already, so we're going to activate this. Uh, and... Um, we'll just get the Phalanx. That means we can top deck Ducks. So we'll activate this special. Um, the one that's going to matter the most here is going to be Gaybolg. 
of all things. It's gonna be Gaybolg. Gaybolg is the one that matters the most here. Because, well actually no, it's actually Gaydarg. Because he can't top deck Blizzard and make Armed Wing and beat over it. So yeah, we're gonna make, uh, we're gonna make, uh, Gaydarg. And that way if we draw any monster, mil a Mistleton, any of them, we get to search ducks. Kill it. Alright. We just need to make it to the next turn. Next turn, draw a monster, or hell, draw a trap that's not named my second treacherous trap hole. If we have this ability, if we have the ability to do this, then we win. Okay, cool. This does nothing. Cool. This does nothing. You're going to make an armed wing. An armed wing is 23. Wait. You have Flamville Euroquisis, which is 21, but it gains, what, 200 for every card I control? And then you have Gravity Warrior, which is 21, and it also ga it gains 300 for every card I control. So he could crash. He could crash those. He could crash a Gravity Warrior, but Euroquisis would be too small. We need to be we need to just be smart. All we need to do is be smart. If we're smart, we can win. I don't want to sit here and do this for another 45 minutes. I don't want to. <laughs> I do not want to. I've been here for six and a half hours. I do not want to do this anymore. If he makes gravity, he's just going to suicide. Oh, it's an arm wing. Cool. Look. It's 23. My turn. Monster. Oh, it's a double cyclone. Um, I'm not going to activate Gaydurg's effect to add and dump because there is no reason for me to. Armed effect doesn't boost unless it's attacking a defense position monster. I know how to read. I played through 2009. I know what this card does. Cards of consonants. Oh my god, please. Fucking god damn. Kill. I just want a monster, please. That monster will turn into ducks. Black whirlwinds. Okay. Do you even have a target in your deck for that Black Whirlwind off that Harmaton? No, you don't. Suicide. Scoop. Suicide. Do the scoop. Do it for me. You're doing it for me. Thank you. Oh, this has been a stressful night. <laughs> Just die, though. Oh, look at this. King of Games with Dragoonities in the first 24 hours the deck is legal. I had fun. I had fun. I had fun. I had so much fun.